For week 12's programming assignment, we are going to work on Code Academy's PHP. So go to Code Academy and look for the PHP course, and then click on that to get started. And PHP is uh, the language that is used uh, to program. One of the languages used. One of the languages is PHP is one of the languages used. <laughs> to program websites. And, and when we talk about languages that are used to program websites, we have HTML and CSS, which we've just been learning about. And those are the, the foundational building blocks of building web pages. And then uh, the, the next two types of languages that are good to know about for web programming are uh, server-side languages and client-side languages. And on the server side, there's a few different languages you can learn to program on the server side, and PHP is one of them. And on the client side, there's JavaScript. And uh, you can learn how to program JavaScript to do client side program, program, programmatic logic. I can't talk today for some reason. So uh, what's the difference between those two? You'll notice at Code Academy, you can learn both PHP and JavaScript. Um, this is kind of how the web works. You have all these clients out there who are people browsing the web. And when you go to a website, you're actually going to another computer known as a web server, which will pass back the information you're asking for. So if you go to Facebook's homepage, the Facebook web server is passing back some information to you. Or if you go to Google's homepage, the Google web server is passing information back to you. So those are known as web servers. And, uh, you know, um, the web servers are connected to databases, and the databases can pull information out. A database is where we store information. So the way Facebook works is inside the database, there's all this information stored about, like, you and your account, you know, and what pictures you've uploaded and what posts you've made. And so when you ask for a page at Facebook, the Facebook web server will go look at that database and pull out all the posts you've made and then put those posts onto a web page and then give you that web page. So you don't have to manually create a web page for every Facebook user. Uh, you create a template type of page and in that template uh, you say go get all of the users posts and put them into this area right here and list them chronologically you know from most recent to farther back in time. And, uh, and so when somebody asks for your page, it goes there, it gets all of your posts, it lists them on that template page, and then it serves that page back. So you create one template page, and then the server-side programming logic, which is written at Facebook in PHP, uh, processes all that and sends that page back. So that's a server-side language, PHP. There's also ASP, maybe you've heard of that, or JSP. ASP is kind of a Microsoft thing. JSP is for Java, uh, people who know the Java language. There's also, um, you know, some other ones that are out there. But uh, on the client side, we then have JavaScript. And JavaScript is something that does processing on the, the, the client side. And so that allows you to have things change on the web page without the page having to go all, without you know you needing to go all the way back to the web server and get more information and come back to your your machine without a complete refresh and so I was just looking at Google Flights actually and if you go to Google Flights uh, you know you could search for a flight and so you know I could enter a date and uh, let's say I want to go to Honolulu and I could enter a return date a little farther out the better and uh, and then I could I could start playing with the times and as I play with the times everything is updating and so that's JavaScript this page is not having to refresh it's not having to go to the server and ask for a new page and then reload that page as I play with this right it's automatically filtering and uh, and that's client side programming and and that's all done with JavaScript that's the only language for doing that really. Um, and so we're going to be looking at learning PHP, which is the language that uh, Facebook is written in, which is pretty cool. And you need to get a check box, check mark right next to this first one here, Introduction to PHP. I think you're going to find it to be pretty awesome. It might be a little bit uh, daunting at first, just from the standpoint of like, well, look at that. That looks a little bit daunting. But when you go to the next one, this is just an example of it, you're right? Like, you, you see this stuff. Don't freak out and get codophobia. 
right? Codophobia is like looking at syntax which is not familiar to you. Oh my gosh, that doesn't look like English. What the heck is all this? And freaking out. So just like we had opening tags in HTML, here's an opening uh, PHP tag, and here's the, the closing PHP tag. So anything that you want the server to process, you wrap in this PHP opening tag, and that's how you close the PHP tag. And then you put this logic here, and that's like the, the template, you know, the template web page will look at that and figure out what needs to go there. The server will look at that and figure out what needs to go there. And so this just says print. That's kind of how you print something to the screen. screen. You type in echo and then put in quotes, whatever you want to print, and you end that. You tell the computer this is the end of a statement by putting a semicolon right there. And so it puts the text out right there. So I could change this to anything. Pod. And it will change out there. You see that? So uh, that's the first lesson in PHP. Have fun.